Breed specific anesthesia challenges are not as common as people think they are. There are some breeds that are in fact at higher risk and probably the brachycephalic breeds, which are the short nose breeds, are the most likely to have problems during anesthesia. So not a specific breed, but Bulldog, French Bulldog, Pug, Pekingese, um, those dogs have more airway issues, so they are at higher risk. There are some other breeds that have some cardiac uh, related issues that are at higher prevalence, but hopefully a good physical exam and history would sort of find that out before you anesthetize them. And then there are a couple breeds where drug metabolism may be influenced and that's getting increasing attention now with more genetic testing. So that's probably another breed related consideration that people should be aware of.